This is this is Rainy. She's 11 weeks old. I'm going to show some of the grooming uh, tips that I do. Now, this isn't grooming right now. She's going to want to chew this leather leash. And this is Tabasco sauce. And it, it doesn't taste good. But it, doesn't, it works better for me than bitter apple. So when the puppy starts chewing, and if I put this on it, they're not going to chew. And it just it cures that, <laughs> that thought. The other thing is this puppy white, dog white called Refresh, and this is a la lavender scent, and this is what I like to give them a nice smell. They, they like it anyway. Lavender is wonderful. And this is what I'm going to, oh, not yet, not yet, come on back up, come on back up, come on, good girl, that's a good girl, good name. She just now got her new name, which is Rainy. So this is the, this is the lavender white. Do you get check often on a puppy? Is is their ears? And you don't have to wipe out the ear with this. The ears should be nice and clean. I just cleaned them a few days ago. But I do take it when I'm checking checking the ear. When I check the ear, I use a Q-tip, but I knew her ears were going to be nice. So we're going to work on the other thing. It's your half-brother, isn't it? Plots? So we just started the plots, and so she understands that needs to lie down. I'm not going to force her, and I'm not going to hold her down yet. She's just learning this, so I don't want to make it... It doesn't need to be that traumatic. Plots. All the way. Come on. She won't get it until she lies down. She wants it. She knows I got it. Good girl. Praise, praise. Good girl. Yay. Sit. Good sit. Good girl. Plots. Good. That was the third one. As I've mentioned in my earlier training segments, the training is done in, in groups of three to five. So if three times I can get her to understand the, the command and she does it, we're done. We don't repeat ourselves. We don't uh, bore the dog because they. She's scratching because I cleaned out your ears. Oh, you silly girl. This is a check her teeth, ears, paws. She's had her nails cut several times. But it's important that they get their feet played with a lot. Because they need to know that that's okay. That you can touch them anywhere. For an examination or whatever you need to do. So we're going to be all done. And that's a key word. All done means we're, all, we're no longer... Oh. <laughs> I didn't need that. Now you want back up there, don't you? Yes, of course you do. Well, you gotta go the easy way. Come on. Don't make it hard. Place. Good girl. Good. That's where you were. Yay. Now, now we're gonna be all done. All done. Come on. All done. <laughs> girl. And this is another place they learn to be on an elevated bed. Like, come on. Oh, you want to go there right now. Come on. You want to scratch that ear that I rubbed. Good. Hey, come here. Ooh, that doesn't taste good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I do. Yeah. Come in here. Check you out. There's nothing there. I must have triggered something there, didn't I? Come on. Get on your place. This is the place to get no jump. Oh, we need to we need to work the tummy when coming in front. Because we don't want that jump. No jump. Good. Sit there, you get a treat. Good. Good. Front. 
and when they sit, they get the treat. And that was good for less than no jump. Mm -mm. So they've got to be encouraged not to jump. And if she were continuing with that, I would turn my back to her and let her know I'm not accepting that behavior. I think we're done. Okay.